Okay, this video is for those of you who are struggling. Not necessarily in the business, but you're struggling in life. Uh, some of you I'm talking to right now, uh, you're, you don't have a home. And you're living in your car. And you've gotten foreclosed on, or you've gone through a divorce, or, you know, you just, you're in a place, in a space where you lost your job. And along with losing your job, what happens to people is you begin to lose your self-confidence and your self-esteem. And these are for people that are um, living in a car living on the streets, listening to this, this is, this is what you do first. You have no money. Um, I want you to feed your mind with reading. Something happens when you begin to read. You don't have anything, go to the library. The library is free. And you read, and you read. And if you have access to a phone, start taking pictures of pages. Um, read financial literacy books. Read self-help books. Build yourself up. Pray. Read the Bible. Read scripture. Then what you do is I want you to look. Go to ebay.com. And I want you to look in the free section of Craigslist. Uh, if you're in a city where you're able to go ahead and attend an outdoor swap meet or some garage sales, uh, do that. I have a swap meet out here in Atlanta, Georgia that I go to from time to time. Um, takes, cost me like 50 cents to get in and I find stuff. It's ridiculous. I've been doing eBay off and on for about 10 years now. Now it's, I do it. My wife says that I I love it. I like it. <laughs> but it's 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 fun. It's like a treasure hunt. Okay. Um I've bought things, believe it or not, I've bought things for three dollars. And I've turned around and made three hundred dollars. I've traded for things and made three, four, five hundred dollars. Uh a couple of days ago. I think I spent like a hundred bucks, made like four or five hundred, something like that. So, um, do that to put some money in your pocket. And then what you do is when you're building yourself up and you're sitting there and you got nothing, then what you do is you contact people on Craigslist or on classified ads that look like wholesalers. They look like wholesalers. Like, you know, uh, uh, they have a house for sale, wholesale price. You'll see it. A lot of the ads look similar. Uh, but what they're looking for is they're looking for a buyer for their property. You contact them and you let them know. You ask them if they'd be interested and JVing the property, joint venture in the property. Which basically means, are they interested in splitting commission or splitting the profits with you of their assignment fee? Now remember, this is, it works, but you have to work it. I can't, and no person on the planet can teach desire. How bad do you want to get out of your situation? Or do you want to continue to feel bad about your situation? You can get out, but you got to dig yourself out. And it starts in your mind. It's not, lots of times what stops people is not, see the business works. It works really well. And you see hundreds, you see videos, you see hundreds and thousands of people. They're winning, they're winning, they're winning, they're winning. A big part of why they're winning has nothing to do with the system or the person that's teaching it. 
a big part of why they're winning is confidence, self-esteem, self-image. Get into the reading. Develop a very, very, very strong reading habit. Trust me. You'll start winning. To go from homeless to a straight real estate hustle guru. I mean, what do you want? And how bad do you want it? Once again, no one can teach desire. That just has to come from you. So if you've lost everything, there are no excuses. Because if you look over, there's somebody in another city, in another state, going through the same thing, if not worse than you. Pick yourself up. You got two kids, three kids, four kids. Um, you're struggling. Pick yourself up. A lot of it is in your mind. This is it's, it's in your mind. Okay, trust me. Pick yourself up. This is Gerald.